Hello, I'm Karen and welcome to the Corbin Studio and Gallery, located at 4 East Main Street in Crisfield, Maryland. The Crisfield Arts and Entertainment District Project is thrilled to bring to you their annual African American History Month art exhibit. This year, we have seven artists who have submitted art in the celebration of African American heritage. Four are Corbin Co-op members and three are artists who have not displayed their work here at Corbin before. We welcome back Jackie Miller, Doug Rayfield, Brian Sutherland and Geralda Johnson, and introduce to you Jametta Johnson, Jazir Manuel, and Tim Linton. Jametta Johnson studied business and human services. A new career path is what brought Jametta to the world of writing and music. Jametta is a 1980 graduate of Crisfield High School and now lives in Marion. She is a published poet, songwriter, and author. Her book, The Squirrel's World, is about a family and their experiences on the Eastern Shore. The Squirrel's World introduces signature events or destinations around the region, like the Pumpkin Chunkin Smashing Contest in Delaware, Maryland's popular beach resort of Ocean City, and the J. Miller Tall's Crab and Clam Bake in Crisfield, and in Virginia, the Wallops Flight Facility. The book is available on Amazon. Jametta has graciously provided us for this show a copy of the book, a poem, and two music CDs. Jazir Manuel was born on August 15, 1993, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. She was embraced by art and grew to love its many forms of expression. Jazir's and African American heritage feeds her spiritual appetite for the arts. She enjoys drawing, sculpting, writing poetry, painting, and photography. She has always been an abstract artist, indulging in the relationship between shapes, lines, and colors. Creating art has been a healthy way to express herself and her influence in helping the youth to do the same. Every hue lives within and around you. Create and seek your truth. Jazir. Jazir has three abstracts displayed here for the African American History Month art exhibit. Stir Crazy is an acrylic painting inspired by another artist's poem. This rooted tree has the cycle of fear, shame, change, growth, and faith all circling around her, causing her to want to run. Yet she can't because she's still able to grow within her circumstances. Put It Down is an abstract painting symbolizing the pressure of putting your foot down. Define Brown Skin is a mixture of both an acrylic painting and a poem written by Jazir. The abstract background has many shades of brown to represent some of the different brown skin tones the African American community will be blessed with. The poem titled Define Brown Skin is written on the painting. Jackie Miller is a watercolor artist. She's been painting watercolors for 48 years. Special orders are gladly taken by her. With her paintings, she tries to interpret life, nature, and her emotions in form and movement. Watercolor is the medium with which she chose to paint her interpretations. Jackie finds watercolor very free-flowing, spontaneous, and very expressive. Transparency of watercolors allows to build layer upon layer of color to each form to obtain the effect that will move the viewer. Jackie specifically painted these three watercolors for the African American History Month art exhibit. The two girls, the granddaughters of her best friend, live in Baltimore. On February 24th, her watercolor titled Attitude will be going to Annapolis for a show called Art in Treasured Spaces, located at the Maryland State Office of the Comptroller. The Maryland State's Arts Council hosts this show and runs from March 1st through June 7th. Tim Linton is a local artist, Crisfield native, graduated Crisfield High School in 2000 with Arts Award, devout family man. Tim has three pencil drawings in the show, all portraits of African Americans. Jack Johnson, the Galveston Giant, was the first black heavyweight champion and continued from 1908 to 1915. Harriet Tubman was American abolitionist and social activist. After escaping slavery, Tubman made some 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including her family and friends, using the network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known collectively as the Underground Railroad. Harriet was born in Dorchester County on the eastern shore of Maryland. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Christian minister, activist, and political philosopher who was one of the most prominent leaders in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. 
Brian Sutherland retired to Crisfield in 2015 after living in Boulder, Colorado. In 2022, after several years of restoring a vintage Victorian house, he resumed his interest in art. He volunteers much of his time to local nonprofit organizations to help maintain a vibrant arts and entertainment community. Brian has provided two pieces of work that represent people who have helped to shape Baltimore and Crisfield, Maryland. The acrylic painting portrays Mayor Darlene Taylor ringing the bell on board the tall ship in Voting Museum, now Trinidad, docked at the Summers Cove Marina in November of 2023. She was the first African-American woman to be elected mayor of Crisfield, Maryland. That day, Brian was inspired by the mayor's enthusiasm, optimism, and vision of the future of Crisfield. Kurt Smoke was the first elected African-American mayor of Baltimore, Maryland from 1987 to 1999. The photo taken by Lisa Hurwitz shows Mayor Schmoke flipping Brian in a martial arts demonstration aboard the U.S. Navy hospital ship USS Sanctuary. Geralda Johnson grew up in Anancock, Virginia, when in grade three, the teacher told her parents that she had artistic talent. After moving to Deal Island with her husband, she started to paint as a hobby. Geralda has her art exhibited all over the Eastern Shore, including Ocean City, Berlin, Monancock, and Chigatig. Geralda is thankful to have this God-given talent to give your heart from my heart. For this show, Geralda has presented her airbrush painting of beauty in all colors. This painting was inspired by her travels in the beautiful colors of the African people. Doug Rayfield is a native of Somerset County who began painting in the 1970s. As a self-taught artist, he enjoys working in all mediums. His artwork typically features life on the Delmarva Peninsula, its people, places, and wildlife, both past and present. His deep love of the outdoors and the area's native wildlife dominates much of his work. Exhibited and sold in shows around Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia, his work has also appeared in several publications. The Rayfields currently reside in Allen, Maryland. Working outside of his normal area of focus, Doug drew his portrait of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. last year and wanted to do more portraits of notable African Americans that stand out in the country's history. Three of the five portraits presented here became historical Americans in his lifetime. In this exhibit, Doug has five graphite drawings of notable people of African American heritage and hopes to produce more in future projects. The originals are on display at the Princess Anne Library, and Doug has graciously provided us with prints for this show. Check out Doug's wonderful work on Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, and Dr. Martin Luther King. The Crisfield Arts and Entertainment District Project would like to thank these wonderful and talented artists for allowing us to display their art. The African American History Month art exhibit can be viewed at Corbin Studio and Gallery until the end of February. The gallery is open Wednesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thank you for listening.